Hi, I'm Maren Gimple, field ecologist at Washington College's River and Field Campus. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Purple Martins. It's March and they'll be back any day now. If you have Purple Martin housing already, it's time to get it ready for their arrival. If you're thinking about adding a Martin house for the first time, you've come to the right place. I'll give you a few tips. Purple Martins are the largest member of the swallow family in North America. They're infamous for eating loads of insects like mosquitoes in your yard, and they have a beautiful call. If you already have Martin houses, now is a good time to get them ready for the Martin's return. Make sure you've cleaned out any old nests from last season. Make sure your poles and houses move up and down and that your predator guard is in good condition. If you're thinking about adding purple Martin housing to your property, here are some tips. Habitat is the most important thing. Martins like open spaces that are quite a bit away from woods and tree lines, but they don't mind being near buildings or people. So it's important to have a large yard with open space. Protecting your Martins from predators is another important thing to consider. Make sure your housing has some kind of predator guard on the pole to prevent things like snakes from climbing up. You can also consider an owl guard that fits over the top of the house, which can prevent owls and hawks from being able to reach into the cavities to eat the chicks. Even with the best predator guard, black rat snakes are excellent climbers and a big snake can circumvent a good predator guard. It's important to know the routine of your martins and if they seem like they're acting funny, refusing to land on the house, making different noises, you might wanna lower the house and take a look inside. It could be a snake. Remember though, it's illegal to kill all snakes in Maryland. The best case scenario is that your Martin house is on a pole that either telescopes up and down or that the house is on a pulley so that you can raise and lower it because you wanna be aware of what's going on inside the house to be a good Purple Martin landlord. It's good to check it about once a week and the added bonus of this for you is to watch eggs hatch and chicks get bigger moving from tiny, helpless, pink babies to awkward, spiky teenagers, and finally, hopefully, to full-grown Martins. If you have questions about any of the things you need or Martin House accessories like extra porches or predator guards or other things that I've mentioned, talk to the staff at the mill. They can set you up with everything you need to host Martins in your yard.